looks like a day at the beach, but really, it's dozens of people stranded in a North Laredo subdivision. My nephew's coming back from Iraq, and this is what he gets. So I told him to bring his boat just in case he can't make it inside the house. <laughs> Janie Sasueta is having a welcome home party for her nephew, but this may be a problem. This is the only entrance to this subdivision, so with water up to your knees, you could enter or exit at your own risk. That's the same one that got stuck last time, right? That car right there is burnt. It was stalled right here. We had to pull it out. It just blew up. Uh, the girl was gonna get married, so she left it there. In Last, it was a Sunday, and there were like four cars stuck there. Oscar the Rodriguez is also stuck at home, but says being stuck here is not the only problem. Our palm trees, they, they get, they get all out of place, and you can see my my grass is already getting dried because of all the water, and then we get all this debris from from over here. And what upsets him more, he says. It wasn't Mother Nature that caused this. He claims it's the city who's not responding. That's the drainage, they're not open. And we've called twice and they said that they're open, but apparently they're not. Making this newly developed neighborhood a flood zone and what he calls... It's, it's a disaster.